Hi guys, welcome back again. Uh, ngayon, uh, pag-aaralan natin is how to open a bottle of wine. Okay? As you can see, marami akong uh, different wines here in front of me. Um, we will be having, I will be having for tomorrow's to drink is, uh, I choose Bordeaux. Okay? Uh, Bordeaux, uh, they have a cork. And this, some are coke as well. And then I have a different one which is a, as you can see this one, is a resealable. So you don't need a wine opener to open this one. Alright. So yeah. And then I have a different wine opener. So as you can see here, uh, this is a different wine opener. One for this one, one for this one. And I bought Lagiol. Lagiol is one of the very expensive one. Uh, here it costs a lot. Uh, actually, he, this one I bought it last uh, 10 years ago in France. As you can see, they have a different knife, which is a for the cheese, to cut the cheese. Alright? And then, pure stainless siya. Tapos, this is a horn of a animal that's why expensive it costs 150 dollars when you buy it or in euro and this one is a gift actually from the company uh, opus one all right this is a very nice wine opener uh, very reliable but it's only for personal and ibig sabihin mo ng personal personal uh, mas okay siyang gamitin na for the family kasi hindi siya masyadong magagamit pero matibay siya to last long uh, for work, hindi siya pa pwede kasi I will explain to you why. Kasi uh, with the regular wine opener na kung work, makikita nyo siya, wala siyang push up. This one, they have a push up as you can see here. Right? So this one wala. It direct. Kagaya rin no? The one I bought it from Lagiol as well. Direct. So sometimes may mga matigas na bote. It's very hard to open it. Ang nangyayari po ay nababasag yung pinaka-lip ng glass when you push through. Especially for those a cork, which is a, a compressed cork, I will explain to you in the next uh, video uh, for a different kind of cork. Kasi pag compressed, napakahirap din buksan. Kasi masyadong dry, masyadong stiff yan, hard. So pag inopen mo yan, nabumabasag yan ng lip. So you can serve it for the guests, of course, pagka basag na yung lip. So anyhow, so this is also a different uh, wine opener, right? Ito. So this is basic, so you can buy it uh, uh, in different wine store. Uh, actually, outside the country, it's very uh, easy to find uh, some wine opener, good wine opener. Here in the Philippines, you can find cheap. I will not suggest you to buy cheap because for 150 pesos, so mga isang bote lang yun na dalawang bote. Pag maswerte ka, na hindi masisira kasi... I never uh, said na sasabihin ko na China made sa lahat naman. Everything is made in China. But the materials, of course, is, is uh, imported or original. So, kaya lang, yung mga ganito wine opener, it takes a lot of months or years also na gamitin na reliable. Na makakasave ng pera at hindi bumabasag ng bote. So, uh, it will save you from trouble. So, ako, ang pinipili kong wine opener is this one. is Murano. This one, you can buy this in Europe. It's very uh, reasonable price, but here you cannot find this one here. And this one, it will last two to three years. Uh, actually, uh, for my ship's contract, um, it, you, you will have six to eight months. And imagine in mo, I, you open at least two to three cases minimum uh, every day using this one, but it helps a lot. Okay? Uh, ito nga pala yung pinaka cheap na wine opener. Of course, you can buy this one, but masakit siya dito. Pag pinupull up mo siya, yung blade niya, which is not very good to cut the uh, uh, the foil. Kasi uh, hindi siya masyadong matalas. Tapos, napakahirap niya magbukas at masakit sa kamay. This one I will show you now. Okay. So, I'll show you the different wine opener. Plus, meron nga pala rito, nabibili rin sa wine shop uh, to cut the foil. So, here... For cutting the coil, I will show you how. So this one, for the cutting of coil, 
ilalagay nyo lang siya sakto yan sa uh, lip ng red wine and then medyo umiikot yung uh, foil so you hold it up ganun lang uh, clockwise counter, clockwise counter, clockwise counter, clockwise counter and then you pull see it's automatic for at home this is not a problem kasi this one it's it's okay when you open up like this uh, walang sisita sa'yo it's not the standard but it's okay and then you open it with the wine but when you're working in a hotel or in the restaurant gagawin ka na itong uh, for the two purposes para mas maganda para sa lahat na makikita nyo okay the real one when you open this kind of bottle you have to open it in here dito sa pangalawang layering okay I will take this one because na open na natin so this one here to cut the foil you take out the knife you do it clockwise by you need to push a bit up or side para madiin ng konti para uh, ma-feel nyo na nakakat nyo yung foil and then you do it counter pag ganito you do it again clockwise counter clockwise counter then and you feel already na nakat mo lahat yung foil uh, okay you can open by carrying the butter like this but if you are in the fine restaurant or six stars hotel restaurant you will put you will find a uh, stable table either in the waiter station's table or in the guest table because they want to see if you opening the original bottle of wine that they ordered okay so yun na nakat na natin and then how to take out the foil madali lang siya yung pinaka end ng knife you will cut it here slide it cut it here and then take it out ganun lang kasimple and this one you don't need to throw anywhere you just put it in your pocket okay then you have two places to open this red wine but first open nyo muna yung wine opener nyo to put the screw out yan yung pinaka worm nya this is the screw out okay there's two end in here there's only one end actually this one but you have to put it in the right way like this to get through inside kasi pagka nilagay mo siya on the other side mahirap siyang ipasok kasi iikot mo pa siya ng todo dun sa arms mo dapat medyo nakaganito ka na para mapipite mo yung cork okay the best thing if you have a table mas madali kasi hindi siya gagalaw and especially if you're new I would suggest to open it with the stable table or any part of the kitchen much better and then you put it on the center and then you open okay ano yung ibig sabihin kung you put it on the center this this uh, corkscrew and this is the center this is your guide yung hinto toro i-push mo lang yung gitna and then like this simple bibitaw mo na siya and then you screw okay second one as a table the same thing Table, pull it here, put it in the middle. You put, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay. You have to be very careful when you put inside uh, the screw on the cork. Kasi sa mga regular bottles, ang cork is, uh, I think it's nasa 4 inches lang siya, 3 to 4 inches lang siya. So mali siya. Kasi when it goes through inside the bottle, ang mangyayari niyan, yung pinaka um, cork is mapupunta sa red wine hindi naman masama pero pangit yun when you're doing the service so at least you put it with the space like this alright and when you open the bottle of red wine the label must facing to the guest kung sa bahay okay lang walang problema kahit saan nakarap yan it doesn't matter but for the guest dapat nakakarap yung label okay now we are on the cork madali lang that's why we have the second pull up para mas madali isang buksan it's very easy to open it compare for this uh, regular wine opener if you have a regular wine opener ang mangyayari nyan you have to go dip the cork 
So you can take out the whole nine yards here. But if you have the uh, wine opener like this, you put the cork screwing like this uh, style for the second pull up. You push up the second one and then open it slowly, gently. Wag masyadong push through. Madali lang siyang i-open kasi hindi dapat nagpapapap yung wine. And even the champagne. Only for the celebration. And then you open it like this. Dahan-dahan. Slowly. Okay. Take it out. And this is the cork. See? I'm opening the Saint Emilion Le Hoc si Croix de la Brie. So this is from Saint Emilion. Okay, the grape varietal of this one is very difficult because this is Bordeaux. It doesn't uh, uh, write the label here. It's more on the Merlot side. So it's a blend. It's a Bordeaux blend, but it's a Merlot side, about 50 to 60 percent. Okay, look at the cork. If the if the wine is a bit more pricey, uh, not on the regular uh, wine, the cork is a whole cork. So this one can age much better. And you can drink it more and more and more better. And then it's written there, the um, place and the style. This is the Grand Cru. Okay, this is Miss and Bottle on Chateau. So it means they bottle the wine, they, they plant the grapes and they, they bottle the wine. Okay, now we open the bottle of uh, wine. So it's very easy. Even white wine, red wine, it's all the same. So I give you the best uh, tips that I can give. So I hope you, you learn from it and you enjoy it, uh, the opening the bottle of wine. Uh, and the, in the long run, magkakaroon tayo din ng uh, different bottles opening, such as yung mga burgundy bottles like this one, uh, the white. And I will find the one from Alsace, which is the long bottle. Okay? I hope you enjoy it. But don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the notification down below para sa mga susunod nating uh, learning uh, session about the wines. Uh, thank you very much and uh, life is too short, don't drink bad wine.